Good night, curl friends. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Tonight I want to talk about transitioning. My hair was always natural. I've always had natural curls. It's been longer, it's been shorter, it's been red, it's been blonde, it's been fried. I recently went through a few pictures and you'll see I'll post some, right? So I thought that I had the most magnificent curls in the world and I was rocking them. I was not letting them go. It was like my best friend said, a man that's going bald and he's holding on to that little bit of hair around here. I was holding on to those ends. Holding on. Yeah, I was holding on. But sometimes we got to let go and we got to treat our hair good. And that comes the transitioning process. So I'm going to talk about how I went from that to this. I just did a wash with my Curly Bell product. I use the moisturizing shampoo by Curly Bell. So I washed my hair and I haven't put anything else in it as yet. So I'm going to do that a little later on and when it dries you'll see the finishing thing. But I want to talk about hair care and how important it is to care for these curls. So let me get myself together. I got some notepads and I'm going to come right back. I just wanna chill and catch stunts in my 745. You drive me crazy, shorty. I need to see you. So one of the things that I want to tell you is know you're here. You have to know your hair. You have to know the products that work with your hair and you have to try, try and test everything. Not all products that work for Sally's hair is going to work for your hair. So you have to make sure that you use different products and try until you find something that works. Everyone has different hair types. Everyone has different hair numbers or categories or porosity. You, you have to try and test your stuff. I just moisturized my hair. You have to make sure that you have a great moisturizer. I decided on using the Curly Bell Thirsty Curls Moisturizer. This is a leave-in conditioner. A detangle provides slip and moisture. Now this product has a lot of slip, plenty slip. And my hair is always thirsty and it needs slip. So this is wonderful. It is a beautiful product. It smells good. And I've used so many other products. I've tried tons of them and this works very well always make sure your hair is well moisturized now that takes me to point one moisturizing your hair think of your hair as your skin if your skin is not moisturized you're going to be ashy you going to need lotion you're going to look dry you're going to look brittle it's going to be flaking off you need to moisturize your hair the same way it needs to have moisture water number one your hair needs to have water it has to have water to grow it has to have water to be healthy everything needs water plants need water your body needs water your hair needs water my hair looks healthy it looks like it's been quenched i always wash it before i put it in or spray it wet it before i put it in so that i have that extra moisture it is very natural and it smells good and it's for almost all hair types you're good trust me when i say you're good i've tried many different products many different moisturizers many different lines as you can see earlier on, my hair has been fried and dyed. And I really do like this line. There's other lines that I do like, and I may speak about them later on. But this is the product that I'm going to use right now, so I'm going to talk about that. But that's point one. This probably should have been point one, but either way, it doesn't matter because I'm just going through the steps. So two, wash your hair. Like, co-washing is great. It adds, like, conditioner and all that stuff. But wash your hair. And I know everyone wants to do sulfate-free shampoos. But for some hair types, you just need a good sulfate wash. And that's okay. And not this, oh, once a week wash. Sometimes you got to wash your hair more than that. That is key. It is optimum in hair growth. Okay? So now we're going to move on to point three. Oils. Oils are good 
sometimes it depends on what you're using the oil for I use oils to pre poo so what I'll do is I'll put some oil in my hair I'll section it off I'll put the oil only on my scalp because that's you know where it needs to be if it's peppermint oil if it's moisturizing oil if it's a deep oil treatment whatever it is oil it leave it overnight leave it for 10 minutes and then you go ahead and do your washout oils are good however Oils can cause a buildup, so you don't want to pack your hair with oils all the time. It will really like cause heat to your scalp and you don't want it to concentrate on your hair and fry them roots. I've been through the fry stages, remember? So yeah, use your oil for pre-poos, use your oil just in the scalp line, like on your scalp. That's where it needs it. It doesn't need to be down in the shaft of your hair. That's what the moisturizers are for, sister. So. Be careful how you use your oils. I would say use them most for pre poos but then again, know your hair. Know your hair, sister. So now let's move on to point four. So point four is manipulating your hair. I would say stay away from too much manipulation of your hair. Let your hair go. Let it do what it's got to do. Let it fall naturally where it's supposed to fall. My hair usually falls to the middle but I like to let it dry like this because I like that extra poof you know you got that good side the good 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 upside you got to keep that good side but in any case do not pull your hair in buns all week long it's going to change the natural shape or curl pattern of your hair it's going to stretch your hair out so let your hair fall let your hair go let it do what it's got to do it's curly hair we got curly hair we got that reversible hair we can do whatever just let it go it's yours celebrate it so don't pull your hair back too tight don't have those little ties twisties don't be tying these up in your hair in a bun i mean leave it loose get something that's loose on your hair or don't twist it around just one over your head and that's it i would do it now but i'm gonna let my hair dry because tomorrow i want to have a bomb wash and go so yeah hair ties pulling your hair back don't do that manipulative hairstyles cane rolls that are just going to be too tight on your head don't do it stay away from that as much as you can every now and then we want those cute styles of course do your cuteness be cute up girl but just don't do it as often because it can strain your hair and your scalp and cause your hair not to grow the way you want it to grow and five brushing and combing Get yourself a good wide tooth comb too. or a nice brush like I have this brush it has like some spacey bristles I don't know who this is by just find something nice has air in case you want to add a little um, airflow like a cool blow dryer to add extra fluff or a diffuser and it has some little bristles in here I'm gonna see if you can see them sorry my hair is all over in this and try cleaning your brush and your combs more often I this is new so this ain't dirty this ain't dirty at all this is very new but um, don't brush or comb your hair too much and stretch your hair out use your hand as much like finger your hair and crunch it and let it air and let it fall how it needs to fall don't be using these stuff too often but it's good to get a good detangle and clear your hair out and then leave it and let it clump and let it curl speaking of clumping there's good demon brushes that clump your hair very well and then if you just like finger them out and I'll probably show that in another video that you'll get nice loops in your curls which is beautiful okay I'm gonna talk about this because I am so guilty of it stretching your hair my hair will dry till it's up to here guaranteed I love my hair big I do because my head is so small my body's a little wide I need hair to offset me so I like to stretch my hair and I do use a diffuser or a blow dryer with that nozzle that concentrates on my roots however I use it on the cool setting it is important to not fry your hair we're trying to get away from I keep on reminding you of this this so use it on the cool setting use it on the roots and just pull gently so that you get that little stretch that's what I do there's other ones that want to do the banded method that's fine don't do it all the time don't do the heat all the time don't do the cooling method. don't band it all the time but it is nice it gives you a good look you agree but be careful on stretching your hair too much the next thing I want to say is sleep with something that protects your hair whether it's a bonnet or a satin scarf or a satin I personally use a satin pillowcase so you can use a satin pillowcase a bonnet a scarf whatever it is 
Don't put your hair on cotton and make it get all dry out. Don't suck those curls out. Let it protect your hair. Sleep in something nice. You know you want something nice on your body when you go to sleep? Put something nice on your hair. Please, please, sisters, put something nice on your hair and sleep on it. Okay? You can twist your hair. You can leave it out. Whatever you want to do. But make sure you sleep on something sexy. So I went away for a bit and I'm back now. My hair is somewhat dry. And I think it looks hella good. Thank you, Curly Bell. So this is all Curly Bell products. And, oh, growth. Growth. But yeah, so it's all Curly Bell products. But I will like to go over the things that I use for my hair journey to healthier hair. So one, know your hair. Two, moisturize. Use water. Use a nice product with slip. Three, clean your hair. Wash your hair. Four, oils for pre-poo. And depending on what you know about your hair, you can use your oils, oils sporadically. Manipulating styles, be careful. Be very infrequent with them. And protect your hair. Protect your hair with a satin cap, a, a pillowcase, something to protect your hair. Do not let a sheet dry it out. And also stretching and heat. Be careful, beware of too much stretching and too much heat on your hair. So I hope you have a wonderful hair journey. Take care of that hair. Love you, Bells. Mommy, tell me, do you like it? I know you like it. It's written all over your face. Don't fight it. You like it more than I like it. So put it all over your face. Don't fight it. You need to stop playing around with all the clowns and the wanksters. Good girls gotta get down with the gangsters. Go ahead, girl, put some back and some nigga on it. While I stand up in the background and check up on it. Ooh, boy, you're looking like you like what you see. Won't you come over and